Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. Capricorn, 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 hello. I don't know why I said it three times. It was just like this weird thing, feeling that I got and it just happened, okay? Hi, my name is Tessa. Welcome to my channel. This is your mid-July tarot reading and a very special love reading that I am doing for all the signs for mid-July for the mid-month readings. Now, if you already know um, me and my channel, I like to do my mid-month readings kind of like based on the moment and how I'm like feeling and you know like if I want to switch it up and kind of focus on something very specific that's what I do but I do tend to focus on spiritual guidance okay and then my monthly readings are based on your rising sign and it's an astrology tarot update so we pull up the astrology for the month um, and I look at the chart based on your rising sign and that is how I do the readings for my monthly. Okay, so from, for my mid-month, if you are a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising, you came to the right place, okay? So this is a very special love reading for Capri for my Capricorns. Um, it's going to be a very general reading and it's going to be very straight to the point. I'm going to pull five cards for you and five cards for your person, okay? And I am using two different tarot decks, so you could be pulling the same cards, okay? So the same cards could come up for both spreads, and that is totally okay and ultra interesting. So, um, yeah, so whether you have, this doesn't matter if you have a person in your life or not, you could be in a relationship. Um, most, I do have to say that most of the readings are coming up for people who are single or who might begin a relationship shortly. I haven't had many readings for those who are already in relationships, um, but like who are already in committed relationships. So just kind of a heads up on that. But this reading uh, between you and your person could be based on someone you are already in a committed relationship with. It could be someone that you are just dating. It could be someone that you have your eye on, that you are feeling potential love feelings for. Or it could be how you're, it could be you completely single without anybody in your life. And it's kind of like, how are you manifesting love into your life? Like what kind of person are you manifesting? So this could be someone who could come into your life in the near or distant future, okay? So it can be kind of like mystery man or woman, okay? Um, but the way the energy shows up is kind of more a reflection of how you are imagining this person to be or how you're manifesting this person. So with that being said, let's get into it, Capricorn. Um, what messages do we have for Capricorn in regards to their love life? Messages for Capricorn in regards to their love life. Messages for Capricorn in regards to their love life. Messages for Capricorn in regards to their love life. Messages for Capricorn in regards to their love life. Messages for Capricorn in regards to their love life. Messages for Capricorn in regards to their love life. All right, Capricorn. First card, we have Justice. There's been quite a few zodiac signs that have been pulling the Justice card. This is Libra energy. Definitely, um, you are just like, you, you just want someone who matches your energy, like just kind of straight to the point. Um, so I do feel like there are, okay, so with the Justice card, there is definitely, I do feel like a lot of you who are watching this are already in a relationship of some kind, okay? You are already in some kind of balance commitment. There's some, there's give and take, there is uh, reciprocity, I don't know if I'm using that word right, but um, like you, because Libra energy is about partnership. Libra energy is about commitment, marriage. Some of you could be in a marriage right now as well. Um, I am feeling that energy like very strongly. Like a lot of you are already in a relationship, some kind of committed relationship, or you do feel committed to somebody. Okay. There is somebody in your life that you feel a sense of like commitment to. Um, for the next card, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so this could definitely, like, I do, I am kind of sensing that there are some of you, sorry, I thought I felt something. <laughs> um, 
some of you could be looking to experience love in new ways. So for those of you who are single, like I kind of see this going both a little bit of two ways with the page of cups. Um, for those who are in current re committed relationships, you are constantly discovering new things about your partner. Like you're, I feel like you're constantly discovering new things about your love. Uh, you're just dis you're discovering new things about your love or if you're in like a really if you're already in a marriage There could be the need or you're considering like how can you rediscover love with this person? Like if you're already in a pre-committed relationship, you guys have been together for a long time There's kind of a need to freshen things up There's kind of a need to kind of like go back into a more childlike sense of wonder um, or to or like you kind of are in that phase anyway, like I just keep thinking about my dad He's a Capricorn and he um, has been married to his wife for two years now uh, Almost two years, but they've been dating for a while and like whenever I see them together it, it just seems like they're like two kids, you know, and my dad is like 60 years old So but they act like children. Okay, so it's kind of like this like fresh um, it's kind of like keeping the love like like you know, keeping it young and keeping it fresh and keeping it fun and like always discovering new like ways to love each other, right? Always discovering new ways to do things for the other person that shows your appreciation and that shows your love for them. It's all about the little things, right? For the next card, ah! <laughs> Uh, for the next card, we have the Three of Wands. This is Sun in Aries energy. So you've come a long way, Capricorn, okay? You've come a long way um, in your relationship, and you're just kind of, like, looking over the horizon, and you're like, well, what's next, you know? Like, what's, you know, like, what's next, okay? So I am kind of feeling that kind of energy, like, kind of wondering what's next. For those of you who are in a relationship but not, like, it hasn't gone to that next step yet, perhaps, like, for those who like aren't married, uh, but you are seeing someone like kind of wondering like what's next. And if you are like, and if you are real, like in a committed um, marriage or relationship, there could be definitely something on the horizon for both of you. That's something new. That's different. Like maybe you're buying a new house together. Like something that is happening within your relationship. Cause remember, even marriages go through changes, even marriages go through transformations and new things, you know, like moving or a new child or like, you know, there can always be something that comes in to just kind of like make the marriage alive again. So, so even for those of you who are in committed relationships, there is definitely something new on the horizon for both of you to enjoy together. Um, and then we have the tower card. Okay. So with big changes comes big <laughs> okay, with big changes comes big transformations, okay? So a uh, little bit of a wake-up call, Mars energy. Um, definitely, like, maybe realizing that, like, you know, because when a new, when something new is coming into your life as partners, you have to discover all over again how this person reacts if something goes wrong, you know? So whenever there are big changes taking place, um, things are not always going to go perfect, you know, things can get messed up and it's like you, like how, how you don't know how your person's going to react, you know? So there is definitely kind of this feeling of like looking over the horizon and also kind of like realizing that there's like some big changes are, are going to have to take place within you and like within your environment, like within your surroundings, right? Okay, so whatever this, like, new adventure, whatever this new thing is for the two of you that's going to take you guys to the next level, um, that is going to be, like, that next step for you, um, there's definitely going to have to be, like, you're definitely going to have to undergo some type of transformation within that. Uh, where maybe an old thought pattern is going to be broken down within you and you have to kind of make room for something new to grow. Uh, it could be just like your comfort level. It could be just in regards to like your environment and like entering a new situation all around. Uh, for the final card, Capricorn, you have the Four of Swords. This is Jupiter in Libra. And this is just about taking some time to rest. You might just need some time to heal. Uh, you could just kind of like end up feeling really overwhelmed by everything. And you really just need time to step back. Like just because you're in a partnership, just because you're in a marriage. And this is really what I mean by like rediscovering what it means to be like committed to somebody because like that doesn't mean that you don't need time to yourself 
that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take time to just kind of like meditate and just kind of like take a break from whatever is going on, whatever it is that you guys are doing together. Like, you know, um, everyone definitely needs just to kind of recharge their battery like by themselves sometimes. So there's nothing wrong with that. This is just like some healing energy that needs to take place for you. Um, you could just be really overwhelmed, you know, you could be really overwhelmed with work. You could be really overwhelmed with lots of different things and lots of different changes that are taking place in your life around you and within you. Okay, Capricorn. Uh, so remember to take breaks, remember to rest, remember to take care of yourself, and you should be fine. Um, okay, for your person, what messages do we have for Capricorn's person? What messages do we have for Capricorn's person? I just gotta check something real quick. I really hope this doesn't, oh my God. Let's see if I can get through this reading without my computer dying. I'm at 8% right now. Okay, messages for Capricorn's person. Messages for Capricorn's person. I should really just plug it in. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna gamble, I'm gonna gamble. Okay, Okay. let's see what messages we have for your persons. For the first card, we have the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius got this as well, okay? So this person is gonna come, they're gonna communicate to you whatever it is they need to communicate to you. This is Mercury and Sagittarius energy. Um, so they're coming. Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so they're ready to have this new beginning with you. They're really passionate about it. They're ready for this like next step. Um, they're like, their energy is coming up very creative, very spiritual and very passionate and just very like go getter, like very like just like they just have that inspiration to want to do this with you. And they are just like wanting to make it happen. Okay, you guys could also be traveling somewhere together or they could be traveling to you if you guys are like separated right now. Um, or you're traveling somewhere together, or they want to, they're organizing something for you guys to be traveling together. And then we have the Page of Swords. Um, so just kind of like learning about more about like each other's thought process and how you guys think. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, communicating in a very like empathetic kind of way, communicating with the motivation to learn something about your partner and not communicating just to like say what you need to say and then walk away. This kind of communication comes more in reference to like thinking about the other person, being thoughtful of the other person and kind of like contemplating new ideas that you guys can work on together, contemplating new ways that you can approach problems um, and situations that you need to get through. For the next card, we have the Two of Wands, um, which is going to be Mars and Aries. So just about taking that initial step. I feel like your person is very like motivated. They will do what they need to do in order to make things work with you. So they will go through those little minor details in order to kind of get through the more like difficult, like critical thinking and more discussion aspects of the relationship in order to like you know, kind of like get you to be on their page and for them to be on your page. So I really feel like they're kind of putting in the work in order to do what needs to be done for your guys' relationship. For the final card, I have the Four of Pentacles. This is your card, Capricorn. This is the Sun in Capricorn. So really kind of like hanging on. Like they really want to hold on to you. Like they love you so much. They want to hold on to you. They're going to do whatever it takes to make this relationship work. Um, they, and they're like kind of like saving as well because like they are, they're ready for this new beginning with you. Um, and they just want to protect you. Like I'm really feeling, I'm really feeling someone who's very protective over you and your life together. They want to protect your life together and they're ready to take this step and to just kind of make things happen the way that they want it to happen. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. Oh my God. Like, I can't believe I've been talking this fast. I just don't want my computer to die, but I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped and I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.